Hey everyone, this is Chris from Rollick. Today we're testing the 2020 Polaris Ranger EPS 1000. We're able to do this thanks to our friends at St. John's Power Sports in Palatka, Florida. If you're enjoying these monthly videos, please subscribe to our channel at Go Rollick. Give us comments, give us feedback. We'll keep doing these on a regular basis. The 2020 Polaris Ranger is equipped with a 999cc four-stroke single overhead cam twin-cylinder fuel-injected engine, generating 61 horsepower. Our right, getting in the Polaris is pretty simple. Just clip, open the clip, pull the pin out, plenty of access to get in. Bring it back, drop the pin in, put the clip back, and I'm in. Seat belts, very easy accessible. Seat position, I see tilt steering, up and lower. Spread on the left hand side, goes pretty far down and pretty far up. Very comfortable for different riding positions. What I like is automatic headlights. You can have an auto mode, just like a car. Uh, on, off, there's an auto mode, so it automatically shuts off and doesn't drain your battery. Take a look at all the storage. A nice big compartment here. Uh, underneath here, there's several different locations. The glove box is easily accessible from the, pat from the driver's side, very deep. Um, to be able to put a lot of stuff in there. Ranger has cup holders galore. I've never seen a side-by-side -side with so many cup holders. Two in the dash, two between the middle passenger, one on the left side for the driver, one on the right side for the passenger. Ergonomically, um, there's plenty of room. I'm, I'm almost six foot. You can kind of see it's easy to get to the gas and brake. Plenty of room down there. It's very sturdy and very comfortable. Adjusting the seat is very simple. There's a move of a lever. It comes pretty far forward for the shorter folks. I'm about six foot tall. But I put it all the way back. There's plenty of room for me to be able to maneuver. Polaris did this very similar to the Sportsman um, as far as the LCD instrument cluster that has the backlight with changing colors. There's the mode in the middle where you're actually able to change from RPMs, uh, temperature, miles per hour, engine RPMs, engine hours, voltmeter, fuel gauge, and four-wheel drive indicator. The shift lever is a very simple, especially if you're working on the farm, um, to access to shift into high, low, neutral, reverse, or park. Underneath the driver's seat, a little latch underneath, you can have access to the storage. Um, deep storage right here. You can see I'm putting half of my arm in here. Plenty of storage to put a lot of gear. Storage underneath the passenger seats is huge. Easy access, all folds all the way up. You can actually take out this compartment. Access full to the, the 12 volt battery fuse box. You can see the fuel tank right there as well. A lot of room to work on. It's the simplest I've ever seen for a side by side to access the battery. What I really like about the Polaris Ranger is the uh, standard brush guard that's equipped to put a winch in there. This one didn't come with a winch standard, but this it's already equipped for one easily. The grill comes out very simply right here, so you can access the radiator so you can clean debris off if you're off, off in the trails or the woods. To go back on, simple, nice touch. This hood panel comes off to access the coolant and the post here for additional accessories. This Polaris Ranger comes standard with the Carlisle 26 by 9 12 six ply tires up front. The rear are also aluminum wheels 26 by 11 12 Carlisle in the rear. The Polaris is equipped with an automotive style tailgate that drops down similar to a pickup truck with four convenient locations for cups. The dump box is 36.75 inches long, 54.25 inches wide, and 12.5 inches in height. The dump box features five slots for two by six pieces of wood, as well as four secure tie downs. The Ranger is equipped with 55 watt low and 60 watt LEDs up front, and a LED tail light in the rear. The brakes are four-wheel hydraulic disc with dual bore front and rear calipers. And the parking brake is a park-in transmission. The front suspension is a dual A-arm with 10 inches of travel. The rear suspension is set up with dual A-arms, independent rear with 10 inches of travel. The hitch can tow up to 2,500 pounds with a two-inch receiver. The Polaris Ranger weighs 1,429 pounds dry it can hold up to 11.35 gallons of fuel, and the payload box can hold 1,000 pounds. Okay, here's the 2020 uh, ignition for the Polaris Ranger. <laughs> the 
and gauge all the high is all the way up top all right so we got the power steering model uh, with downhill assist control let's see how it goes down the hill let off the gas nice and slow stops me power steering is very simple and smooth a little bit of play in the steering wheel more than I expected dual arms up front independent rear and front suspension we have no windshield on this model, so it's uh, open. All right, shift in four-wheel drive. Controller right here. Okay, lock it in four. Okay, now we're going back uphill. Power steering is seamless. Very easy to operate. Plenty of power in the 1,000cc engine. Climbing the hill. Two-wheel drive. Hill. What's interesting is these particular doors uh, right here, so you have to insert this metal post in the bottom uh, section for it to clip. Um, I would say it's a little bit more challenging than, than most of the other ATVs and side bys we test. All right, so um, the doors are one of the dislikes. The, the hand shifter here is con very conveniently located, but it's still hard to find the gear. I'm gonna try to find the right gear. To me, it's a little challenging. I like to, it doesn't, it's hard to click between each gear to figure out which one is your high or low. You have to really pay attention to the uh, indicator on the LED, for, on the four inch LED screen. But the, the 1000 has plenty of power. The turning radius on this thing is incredible. It's very tight turning radius. I was able to get through this tighter trails very easily. It's, Going downhill at a very steep decline, my foot is off the gas and I'm using the engine braking. I'm in high gear, um, probably this pretty steep angle, it's pretty much doing all the work for me. Um, I can I have to barely touch the nice power steering and it's very easy to maneuver left or right. Three people, top speed at fully equipped, 56. Lots of leg room uh, in the Ranger. Well, here we are in some whoops uh, trail, independent front rear suspension. At 20 miles an hour, that's okay. For, for a utility unit, it's not bad at all. When I took out this test ride, I was thinking more of a work unit, right? So I'm out in the trails now, did some work around the yard, but I'm now trying to see. So if you want to take your family out, we got three of us riding around the trails, lots of whoops. It's very comfortable. Got the power steering, independent rear suspension, taking the trails. Very good kick capable unit. The seats are very comfortable, very well padded. So I'm able to, to maneuver through the trails pretty quickly. So if you want to have fun the weekend with this thing, you can also have fun as well as work all week on, on your property. All right, so after doing a bunch of donuts in the soft sugar sand, this thing is really capable, much more than I thought. The 1,000cc engine had plenty of power to get to that soft sand and kick up some pretty good rooster tails. Um, if you're thinking about using it just for utility, you're, don't underestimate it, right? It can do a lot in the trails, much more than I thought it could. I'm really impressed. Uh, super comfortable, we had three people in it. Um, our elbow, our shoulder room is perfect. So when I picked up the Polaris Ranger from St. John's Power Sports, I was trying to figure out who the target buyer would be. I thought it'd be mostly a ranch, someone on the ranch or their property or a farm work. Actually, the thing is really good on the trails. I was able to go out, do a bunch of donuts up and down hills, go through some mud and some sand. And then I came back, hooked up my trailer, did yard work, picked up logs, took up, you know, fence, everything like that. And it was performed very well. I think this unit, um, Polaris did a great job with building a side-by-side -side that can tackle both. With the utility, it's, the three people is very comfortable. Uh, also had the ability to um, handle the trails well, as well as handle the farm. Um, I think the best thing that I like about it was uh, how comfortable it was. The, th the seats were very soft and plush. The throttle was very responsive and um, performed very well. Um, I didn't like the doors. My biggest challenge for this unit was the actual, uh, the nets. 
getting that lower metal piece in the bottom takes time. Um, I would definitely go for opt-in for half doors if I could do that. This is perfect for a farm and a person who wants to go trail ride in the weekends as well. Go Rollick is an online marketplace that connects today's consumers to a network of hand-selected certified dealers like St. John's Power Sports to deliver the most transparent buying and ownership experience for side-by-sides, ATVs, motorcycles, personal watercraft, golf carts, and RVs.